Okay, so here we are with circuit number six in the SparkFun Inventors Kit series here. So what we've got uh, this time is we're going to be controlling the brightness of an LED. Sounds boring, right? Uh, well, it's not that boring because the way we're going to be controlling it is with this guy right here. Oof. Yep, this guy. What is this, you might ask? This is a uh, photosensitive cell. So it will vary the resistance in the circuit by the amount of light it receives. So if I cover it up, we'll have uh, the light turn off, and then when it gets full light, the light will grow brighter. Okay, so that, that should be interesting. Now, this is a, actually a resistor, and the board itself can't actually read resistance, it reads voltage. So when we hook it up with its two resistor setup using the 10,000 uh, well, uh, 10,000 ohm resistor, uh, it will create a, a voltage difference that the board can actually read and then use to, uh, we can see it in the light there. Now, of course, we have our LED that I mentioned and then our usual 330 ohm resistor plus a bunch of wires, uh, we got six wires. I'll build this circuit, we'll see what it can do. Okay, so here's the circuit all built and ready to go. Don't forget, 330 ohm resistor with the light, 10,000 uh, ohm resistor with the, the photosensitive resistor here. Now I found this one a little bit difficult to put in, uh, just make sure you give it some uh, extra oomph maybe, uh, but be careful, it's really tall and thin so you don't want to bend those wires over. And also it doesn't matter which way it goes in, just stick it right in there. One more warning, our LED this time is not hooked up to uh, its normal uh, one, we've got it hooked up to number nine this time. Usually we've got it hooked up to like 13 or something. So, uh, yep, let's set that up properly. And now we are going to plug this guy in and load up our program. And here's circuit number six loaded up. So this one's uh, relatively simple. As usual, we start by uh, naming our pins that it's hooked up to. Remember, we've got number nine for our LED this time. And then our sensor is hooked up to zero. Uh, so we've got two new ones here. We're actually setting these for the level of light that uh, the uh, resistor is receiving there. And then our setup is really easy. We just output to that LED, no problem. Now, when we get into our loop, we are going to uh, read the light levels. This is uh, with this analog read command here. And what are we gonna do with that? Well, we have basically two options here. You can see one of these is commented out. Uh, with this manual tune, we're actually setting the values in the program kind of by hand, by ourselves. And then we have this auto tune option here, which uh, basically allows it to automatically set itself. And then we write it to the pin and change the level of the light. Okay, so uh, what do these two functions do? Well, in the manual one that we've got here, okay, so we're just changing the uh, levels of the light. Maybe it's uh, always too bright or maybe it's still on even in the dark. We can adjust these levels here. Uh, and then in auto-tune, it actually does it for us. We have these limits set here and it, uh, it gets done. So pretty easy, one way you do it yourself. It actually looks like less programming, but uh, it's actually better with the automatic than uh, you know you can set those limits and not have to worry. Uh, instead of having to go in and changing it every time and fine tune the adjustment based on the output, basically you have to look at the board and see if the light's on. Each time you're having to input the value manually to set it right, here it's just done. So that's pretty handy, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go and verify. And upload. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got everything hooked up. The LED is on, all right, because uh, we're receiving lots of light here. So I'm gonna cover up the sensor and, oh, there's a barely, per you can't barely tell the difference. I don't even know if that's gonna show up on camera. Let me pull this up. Nice and close here. Oh, all right. Can you see that difference? Oh, that's hardly detectable at all. That's because we're in manual mode right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna change this to automatic and uh, let's see what happens. 
All right, so I've set it up. Automatic mode here, when I cover it up, oh, it goes right off, look at that. See, it does it all by itself. So instead of, here, I'll put a little less light on it maybe. Oops, gets a little, a little darker. Oh, likes to get real dark real fast. There, ooh, there we go. All right, so as you can see, it automatically does it for us. Much easier than having to do it manually. Uh, if I had to do it manually, I'd have to be checking every time, going through and adjusting the number in the program. That's no fun. So, use automatic mode, much easier for you. Something you might want to use in your future programs when you're designing circuits for your little red board here. Alright, that's it for number six. See you with number seven.